Today, we're gonna go over my five tips and a bonus to help you with starting your whiskey collection. Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Carlos. Thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Corner. <laughs> I, I, I actually did it good that time. I, uh, I, I often say I feel like a weather person. I'm showing you where the sun and the clouds are. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for joining. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for everyone that has been showing me love, showing the channel support. If you have not done so yet, all I ask is that you do me a favor and click that subscribe button. That will really help me out and really help the channel out. Now, if you're feeling generous, you can also like, comment on the video. I usually put some things at the end where you can comment on and click that bell icon. Now, I'm gonna get straight into it, but first, I'm gonna show you what I'm drinking. So I got my little Bourbon Real Talk Mini Glen here and cheers. I am drinking some George Remus bourbon. Yep. I bought this for about 42 bucks. My local Total Wine was the last one left and it is really great. So if you have not tasted that or gotten a bottle yet, I do recommend it. Let's get into the list though, because I know that's what you're here for. So when you're just getting into bourbon, whiskey, scotch, whatever, you're gonna want to start buying more and more bottles, start collecting. So I wanna put out this list to kind of help you out, guide you on starting your collection as a beginner. These are five tips that'll help you when you're just starting off your collection, right? And it's five tips, but there is a bonus at the end. So it's actually six tips. Under promise, over deliver. So let's get into the first one. Have a plan, guys. What do you plan to do with your whiskey? When you're starting a collection, you need to know what you're gonna do. Why are you collecting? Do you wanna have them to taste them and enjoy them with other people? Um, are you part of a whiskey club? Or do you wanna just build it up and sell it, make some money? Do you wanna store it and just make an extravagant collection? It's good to know what your goal is, to know basically what to start buying, right? Um, I'm the first one. I wanna enjoy it. I wanna enjoy it with other people, but I also wanna collect it as well, right? I'm not trying to sell it. I try to open all my bottles, but that has geared me into what I'm buying next or what my bar needs or what I think my bar needs, right? So. It's always good to have the end in mind. So that would be my first tip. Know why you're collecting. What is it that you're trying to get out of this collection? This second one, I don't think is really needed for everybody. It just helped me out. But build your palette, your favorite palette, acquire your taste, right? If you're like me and you want to 
enjoy your whiskey collection, then it really sucks to buy some whiskeys that you're not gonna enjoy, you know? So that's what I'm saying. Build your palate to what you like and acquire your own taste because then you know what to purchase. If you like weeded, if you like rye, if you like all of the above, then great. But build it to what you're gonna enjoy having in your collection. Number three, and again, this is in no particular order, but some, you know, you should do before you start the collection. Some you can start doing as you go along, right? But number three is know where you're gonna keep your whiskey. Yeah, as you've seen at the beginning of the video, I have a pretty okay collection, um, but I'm running out of room. When I say the whiskey corner is, my wife only gave me a corner. <laughs> I have a little half barrel over there that I'm also putting stuff in, and I got her to talk. I talked her into letting me have that, and I'm trying to talk her into letting me have my own room in our house. Yeah, but it's not gonna happen anytime soon. So, know where you're gonna store your whiskey or keep your whiskey. Have a plan. I mean, I'm sure that I can put up more shelves and maybe buy a bigger bark cart. I don't know. But it would be good to have a plan because, yeah, it's not good when you start running out of space and you want to keep buying more, but you have nowhere to put it. I started putting some extra ones, like I have some Weller's Special Reserve, some Henry McKenna, um, like a backup bottle, I have it. And I started putting them on Eagle Rare. I started putting them in a box that I'm gonna put away because I already have one here that I'm that I'm already uh, into, that I'm already drinking. So know where you're gonna keep this whiskey. Next one. Okay, so this also falls into the category of whiskey hunting. And I'm gonna be putting out a video about whiskey hunting or my tips for whiskey hunting because I've been able to find some pretty good things and it's just things that I've been picking up. And I know there's numerous videos out there, but I wanna give you my take on that. And I will be putting out that video if I have not done so yet before you see this. Um, but it's know where you're gonna shop. And once you know where you're gonna shop, start building that relationship. Guys, Whiskey hunting and whiskey collection go hand in hand sometimes. But if you're collecting whiskey, depending on your collecting, doesn't mean you really have to go out and hunt for it, you know? Um, but if you want the latest, rarest stuff like that, you're gonna have to build relationships. You're gonna have to know what's coming out, where you can get it. And that goes hand in hand with where you're gonna spend the bulk of your money. Um, if you go to a local store, support them because you like the people there, they have good offerings and yada, 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 then they will notice you as a recurring customer. Start building that relationship. Don't just go in there, buy and then leave. Talk to them, you know, um, build that relationship and then you'll be able to get what you want in the future. So any new bottles that they're going to get, any special things that are coming out that they might, you know, leave one in the back for you. If they see you already spent a bunch of money with them. They're going to consider you um, for that bottle. And especially they'll consider you if you already have that relationship with them. So find a store that you're gonna be purchasing at and try to purchase the most things from that store out of that collection. I found one here, Primo Liquors. It's probably where I've bought the bulk of this. Um, it's either that or ABC Wines, Total Wine as well, but local stores, Primo Liquors, and I'm building a relationship with them, right? So definitely build that relationship and know where you're gonna be buying it. And last one, before we get into the bonus, enjoy yourself. This is not a race, it is a marathon. You've heard that quote before, but it is so true with a uh, whiskey collection. Enjoy yourself as you're going along. Don't fall into FOMO, fear of missing out. Do not 
and we all do we all go through it right but try not to because at the end of the day you're not gonna really enjoy yourself oh my god i have to go and get that bottle oh i can't believe that i didn't get that it's the end of the world type of thing there'll be more bottles out there yes it sucks when you miss deals or you're not able to get something but enjoy yourself while you're doing it because this is not something that you're gonna be um going towards the finish line and then you're done no it's a journey that you're going on it's whiskey collecting that's why it's whiskey collecting versus you just go out and purchases and purchase whiskeys right so enjoy yourself try not to fall into that fear of missing out all right last tip it's a bonus it's unfortunate that it has to be said but be smart and be careful there's a lot of scams out there guys a lot of the places that want to take your money not send you the bourbon or whiskey or scotch there's a lot of scams on facebook on instagram on any social media there's scams out there so be cognizant of what is going on around you by no by all means if you're part of a whiskey club and somebody says hey i got an extra bottle i'll sell it to you for whatever then cool because you know that person but somebody says on their instagram hey i got three bottles of blanton's gold or whatever hit me up you know that's a little that's a little weird right and that's how some of these scams are going on right now the same goes with online retailers so why would you buy from an online retailer that has horrible reviews. You get what I'm saying. Be careful, be weary, and you know, try not to get got. I put out a video, I'll put it here or here, about um, three places that I use or two places that I use when I'm purchasing online. There's a lot of other places, but those are the two places that I've used personally, in fact, and I have no problem with. Um, so just be wary of where you're going to purchase so that you don't get scammed, you don't get screwed. Well guys, those are my tips. Hopefully they help you guys out and hopefully, you know, it um, you enjoy this whiskey collection journey that you're about to embark in. Um, anybody that has um, any other tips, please put them in the comments. They'll really help out the community and the people watching this and people that really need it. Um, also, what do you guys think about these tips? Um, do you guys have any thoughts on it, good or bad? Let me know. Put it in the comments below. Um, again, please do me a favor of subscribing. That's all I ask for. But if you're feeling generous, also like, click that bell icon. I already told you to comment. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm gonna enjoy this. And till next time, enjoy that whiskey. Cheers.